Hello everyone. Uh, I am Ankit Agrawal and I am going to do the analysis of the quantitative ability section of the SSC CGL Tier 1 2015 examination morning slot. The test form number which I am going to analyze is 1242019. Let's start. Uh, the question number one is if the area of a circle is A, radius of the circle is R and circumference of it is C then which one of the following is true? It is one of the simplest questions which every one of you must attempt. We know that area is equals to pi r square and circumference is equals to 2 pi r. I can simply say that if I multiply this by r and this by 2, I will get equal to a. So I can say that c into r by 2 is equal to a. I can clearly see that I can clearly see that c into r is equal to 2a. So option A is the correct answer. Next, A and B together can do a piece of work in 6 days. If A alone can do the work in 18 days, then the number of days required for B to finish the work is. Uh, the simplest way to do such questions is assume the total amount of work as the LCM of the number of given days. So in this case, the number of given days is 6 and 18. So I would assume the total number of work is to be 18 units. So total work is equals to 18 units. Now, if A alone can do it in 18 days, that means A is doing one unit per day, right? And A and B together are doing uh, the work in six days, that means three units per day. So if A alone does one unit per day, A and B together does three units per day, that means B alone does two units per day, right? So if B does two units of per day, that means B takes nine days to complete the task alone. Next, the measure of an angle whose supplement is three times as large as its complement is we know that the sum of uh, an angle and its complement is 90 degree and sum of an angle and its supplement is 180 degree. Let the primary angle be X and its complement be Y. So this is equal to 90 degree and the angle X and I know that the sum of its supplement is uh, the, the supplement is three times of the complement. So x plus 3 by will become 180 degree. Solving this I can easily get x equal to 45 degree. Right? Answer is option D. Next. The sum of four numbers is 48. When 5 and 1 are added to the first two and 3 and 7 are subtracted from the third and fourth, the numbers will be equal. Uh, look. I am trying to add 5 and 1. So I will make the total from 48 to 54. Then I am trying to subtract 3 and 7. That means I will make the total to 44. So from 54 I will subtract 10. It will become 44 and all the full numbers will be equal. That means all the four numbers will become 11. Right? Now I have to see in which number by in, in among the given options in which number if I add 5 it will become 11. If I see option A, in option A it is 9. 9 plus 5 is not 11. Done. 6 plus 5 is 11. Possible. 4 plus 5 is 9. Not possible. 5 plus 5 uh, 11. Not possible. So answer is option B. I will not check this question further. This is a bar graph. It shows the uh, production of electronic items, TVs and LCDs in a factory during the period from 2009 to 2012. Uh, let's see what all questions are. It's a simple basic bar graph. The ratio of production of LCDs in the year 2011 and 2013 is into the LCD is the dark ones in 2011 it is 9000 and in 2013 it is 12000 so uh, 9000 is to 12000 gives me an answer of 3 by 4 the difference between the averages of production of TVs and LCDs from 2009 to 2012. So basically I have to add the production of TVs. TVs is 6 plus 9 plus 13 plus 11. So the total becomes 39. So there are 39,000 production and for LCD it becomes 7. 7 plus 9400 let's take it 9 for the time being 16. 16 plus 9 is 25 plus 10 is 35. So 35, 400. So TV is 39,000. LCD is 35.4. So to solve this, I have, I have, I have to find out the value of this. I'll simply do 
39 minus 35.4 divided by 4 this will give me 3.6 by 4 or 0.9 I know this value is in thousand so this will become 900 my answer is option A the total number of production of electronic items is maximum in the year it's again a simple question from the graph I can clearly see that it is in 2011 13,000 plus 9,000 that is 22,000 to cross check I'll check these closer values 11 plus 10 this is 21 this is 12 plus 8 this is 20 rest of the values are much lower than these values I can clearly say that it is in 2011 so answer is 2011 the ratio of production of TVs in the year 2009 and 2010 in 2009 6000 TVs were produced in 2010 9000 were produced so the answer is 6 by 9 or 2 by 3 option D next question is 18 years ago the ratio of A's age to B's age was 8 is to 13 their present ratios are 5 is to 7 what is the present age of A from this statement I can clearly say that the present age of A is a multiple of 5 and 18 years ago it was a multiple of 8 so among the options I can see all the values are multiple of 5 if I look at option A 70 minus 18 is 52 so this is not a multiple of 8 50 minus 18 is 32 this is a possible multiple of 8 40 minus 18 is 22 this is again is not a multiple of 8 and 60 minus 18 is equal to 42 this is again not a multiple of 8 so the present age of A is 50 years a shopkeeper bought 30 kg of rice at the rate of 70 per kg and 20 kg of rice at the rate of 70.75 per kg. If he mixed the two brand of rice and sold the mixture at rupees 80.50 per kg, his gain is. First of all, we have to find out the average price. Uh, uh, the average price of the entire thing. The average price lies between 70 and 70.75. I know this is 30 kg. This is 20 kg let's say 10 kg is the demarcation right so there are five such demarcations two three four five fine so in five demarcations each demarcation will represent a difference between these two 75 by 5 that is 70.15 this is 70.30 this is 70.45 this is 70.60 <coughs> and this will represent 70.75 right so this is 30 kg and this is 20 kg I have made 5 demarcations I know the value should be closer to 70 and it should be 3 places from 70.75 uh, so 1 2 3 the average price is 70 point average price is 70.3 per kg selling price is 80.5 profit is 10.2 per kg the total rice is 50 kg so 10.2 into 50 is 510 answer is option B what is the arithmetic mean of first n natural numbers sum of first n natural numbers is n n plus 1 by 2 arithmetic me mean is divided by n so this gives me a value n plus 1 by 2 option D Directions. The following pie chart showed the sources of funds to be collected by the National Highway Authority of India for its phase 2 projects. Study the pie chart and answer the following three questions. Uh, the sources of funds are market borrowing, external assistant, SPVS, tall and annuity. Right. If NHAI could receive a total of 9695 crores as external assistant, assistance, by what percent should it increase the market borrowing to arrange for the shortage of funds? Let's see. External assist, assistance they got 9695 crores. So they are short by 11486 minus 9695 which gives me a value of 9 seven one one seven nine one crore so they need to have one seven nine one crores more so by how much percent they have to increase their market borrowing so that means one seven nine one crore is what percentage of two nine nine five two so to calculate this value let me let's say 
वन परसेंट ऑफ दिस एंटायर वैल्यू विल बी क्लोज टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज क्लोज टू एटीन हंड्रेड सो आई कैन से द आंसर शुड बी क्लोज टू सिक्स परसेंट आई कैन सी देर इज ओनली वन ऑप्शन विच इज वेरी क्लोज टू सिक्स परसेंट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी नेक्स्ट इफ द टॉल इज टू बी कलेक्टेड थ्रू एन आउटसोर्स एजेंसी बाई अलाउंग अ मैक्सिमम टेन परसेंट कमीशन हाउ मच अमाउंट शुड बी परमिटेड टू बी कलेक्टेड बाई द आउटसोर्स एजेंसी सो दैट द प्रोजेक्ट इज सपोर्टेड विथ रुपीज फोर नाइन वन जीरो करोड़ इट्स वेटी सिंपल द आउटसोर्स द टॉल इज टू बी कलेक्टेड इज फोर नाइन वन जीरो करोड़ राइट एंड द एजेंसी इज टू बी गिवन टेन परसेंट कमीशन दैट मीन्स फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी वन करोर सो द टोटल बिकम्स फाइव फोर जीरो वन करोर नो नीड टू सी द ग्राफ The central angle corresponding to market borrowing is, we can see the market borrowing is two nine nine five two divided by the sum of these. If you add all these values, two nine nine five two one one four eight six five two five two four nine one zero and six thousand. When you add all these values, you will get the total as five seven six double zero. and this value is more than half of it if you closely look the half of 57600 is this so you are left with this and this is equal to 2% of <coughs> 57600 so the angle should be 52% of the total angle that is 52% of 360 degree i know that uh, 50% is 180 degree and 2% is 7.2 degree so the answer is 187.2 degrees a square is inscribed in a quarter circle in such a manner that the two of its adjacent vertices lie on the two radii at an equal distance from the center while the other two vertices lie on the circular arc If the square has sides of length x then the radius of the circle is first of all to solve this question let's draw the figure the figure will be like this this is a quarter of a circle and this is the square i know that this side is x this side is x it's a square <coughs> and this is it is mentioned that this distance is equal to this distance so this has to be x by root 2 this has to be x by root 2 now i know that to find out the value of this entire radius one thing is that this entire angle is 135 degree right i can do one thing i can draw <coughs> a line from here joining here right this is 135 degree i have 135 degree i have this side fine and i have this as the radius and i have this side as x so basically by applying the cos formula cos 135 is equal to x square plus x by root 2 ka whole square minus r square upon 2 into x into x by root 2 will give me the value of r another way is if i look at the options i know in this entire calculation pi is not coming anywhere so this option is ruled out i can clearly see that uh this length or i can say this length is less than this right so the answer will be more than root 2 times of x so this option is ruled out this value is already less than root 2x i can simply mark by uh, simply mark the option as this otherwise if one can calculate you can easily calculate this will not like take very long time and you will get the answer as this <coughs> a pipe can fill a uh, tank in x hours and other can empty it in y hours they can together fill it in very simple question Answer should be one upon one by x minus one by y. This will give you x y upon y minus x. We know that 
2 plus root 3 is equal to 1 by 2 minus root 3. This is a straight third which is asked in several uh, examinations. For example, 3 plus root 8 is equal to 1 by 3 minus root 8. This is again a standard third. So in this case, I can say that clearly the value of x is minus 1. In a certain year, the sum of money is doubled itself at 6.25 simple interest per annum. I have to simply divide 100 by 6.25. I'll get my answer as <coughs> 16. A tangent is drawn to a circle of radius 6 cm from a point situated at a distance of 10 cm from the center of the circle. The length of the tangent will be. This is again a simple question. Draw the figure. This is 6. This is 10. This is 6, this is 10 and the tangent is drawn from here. I know that radius and tangent makes a 90 degree angle. It becomes a Pythagoras theorem. One of the side is 6, the other is 10, the third has to be 8. The length of tangent is 8. In this question, we have always told that always do it by putting the value of theta or x. In this case, you can put theta equal to 0 degree. When you put theta equal to 0 d, you will get x into 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. This implies x equal to 1. When you will put the value here, 1 plus 1 plus 1 into 0 is equal to 1. Your answer is option A. And the maximum value of this is a very standard question. It is always 1. You can put theta equal to 90 degree and you will get the answer as 1. 729 ml of mixture contains milk and water in the ratio 7 is to 2. How much more water is to be added to get a new mixture containing milk and water in the ratio 7 is to 3? Basically, there are 7 parts of milk and 2 parts of water. Now you want to add 1 part of <coughs> you want to add 1 part of water more. So it's simple. Let's find out one part of 729 that is 1 by 7 plus 2 into 729. This will give me 81 that means I need to add 81 ml of water further. <coughs> and next question. Allowing 20% and 50% dis successive discounts, the selling price on the article becomes rupees 3060. Then the mark price will be. Uh, first of all, understand. <coughs> What is successive discount? Successive discount is the discount after the discounted price. So let's say if the mark price is 100, after 20% discount it becomes 80 and on that 80, if I subtract 15%, it becomes 8 plus 4 that is 12, it becomes 68. So it's an effective of 32% discount. Now we see that we are giving a discount of 32% and the price becomes 3060. 32% is almost equivalent to giving one third of the discount. That means 3060 is almost equivalent to two third of the mark price. Answer becomes 4500. A ship after sailing 12 km towards south from a particular place, 12 km towards south, covered 5 km more towards east. This is 5. And the straight away distance of the ship from that place, Pythagoras theorem, it becomes 13 km. Nothing to do in this question. Two quarts of length unit a, of length A unit and B unit of a circle make angle 60 degree and 90 degree at the center of the circle respectively. Let's draw the circle. Let's say this is one chord. This makes an angle of 60 degree. Its length is A. There is another chord. It makes an angle of 90 degree. Its length is B. Then the correlation between A and B. This is R. This is R. This is R. This is R. Since these two sides are same, these two angles have to be 60 degree. This is 60 degree. It becomes an equilateral triangle. That means A becomes equal to R. Now A is equal to R. 
and this triangle becomes a 45 45 90 triangle so this gives me b equal to root 2 r i can say a upon b is equal to 1 by root 2 or b equal to root 2 a option b if a clock is started at noon then the angle turned by the r hand each hour the angle turned by the r end is 30 degree so in 3 hours it must have turned 90 degree in 3 by 4 hour that is 45 minutes it must have turned 22.5 degree so that total of 90 plus 22.5 becomes 112.5 a farmer traveled a distance of 61 km in 9 hours. He traveled partly on the foot at the rate of 4 km per hour, partly on bicycle at the rate of 9 km per hour. The distance traveled on the foot is. This question has to be done by hit and trial to do it in a faster way. If he is traveling by foot at the rate of 4 km per hour, so let's assume he traveled for integral number of hours. So for 1 hour he must have traveled <coughs> 4 km which is not possible not given among the options among the given options the easiest option is d so if he has traveled 4 r and 16 km by foot that means in the remaining 5 hours he should have traveled 45 km by bicycle right and this total matches my given date <coughs> so this is the answer a tap can empty a tank in 30 minutes, a second tap can empty it in 45 minutes. If both the taps operate simultaneously, how much time is needed to empty that tank? Again, as mentioned in the previous question, let's take the LCM of 30 and 45. This gives me 90. <coughs> so that means tap 1 can empty 3 units per minute and tap 2 can empty 5 uh, sorry 2 units per minute t1 and t2 together can empty 5 units per minute they have to empty, empty 90 so it will take 18 minutes the average weight of 15 oarsmen in a boat is increased by 1.6 kg when one of the crew who weighs 42 kg is replaced by a new man find the weight of the new man 15 for 15 people the average weight was increased by 1.6 kg that means the total weight of the boat was increased by 15 into 1.6 that is 24 kg that means if the old man was weighing 42 kg new man must have been weighing 24 kg more that is 42 plus 24 which is 66 The population of a town increases 5 years every year. If the present population is 9261, then the population 3 years ago is. It is a compound interest question in which every year the population is getting multiplied by 1.05, 1.05, 1.05. 1 we know that if, if it would have been simple interest or simple increment, 5% in 3 years would have resulted to 15%. And 15% after adding into something would have been close to 9261. The closest option is 8000. If we see <coughs> 8000 adding 5%, that is 400 gives me 8400. When we add again 420, that is 5% in that, it gives us 8820. When we again add 5% in that, that is 441, it gives us 9261. So 8000 is the correct answer. This is a straight question of uh, triangles and the theorem says that <coughs> the ratio of the uh, the ratio of the area of the two triangles is equal to the ratio of the basis. So if the ratio of the basis of <coughs> BD is to DC is 4 is to 5 then the area of triangle ABD is to area of triangle ADC it should also be equal to 4 is to 5 this value is 60 so this has to be 75 answer is A two poles of height 7 and 12 old trigonometry question of 8 standard this is 7 this is 12 this is 12 this is 5 this is 12 this gives me 13 
the last number that should be added to 2055 we know that <coughs> 2055 we have to add something in 2055 to make it divisible by 27 when i divide 2055 by 27 i get the remainder as 3 that means x should be 24 again a simple question sin theta old question of ssc is equals to cos square theta so this makes it sin theta this makes it sine square theta i know that s value is 1 this can be changed to root 7 plus root 6 this can be changed to by simply rationalizing this can be changed to root 6 minus root 5 sorry plus root 5 this can be changed to plus root 5 plus 2 <coughs> similarly continuing this gives root 8 plus root 7 and this gives 3 plus root 8 root 7 is cancelled by root 7 root 6 is cancelled by root 6 root 5 is cancelled by root 5 root 8 is cancelled by root 8 we are left with only 2 and 3 both are positive so answer is 2 plus 3 that is 5 from the question we can clearly say that it's a <coughs> right angle triangle let the sides be 3x 4x and 5x so area would be half into 3x into 4x is equal to double triple seven six on solving we get x equal to 36 so parameter becomes 12x which is equal to 432 for this question it is always better to know the smaller root values we know <coughs> root 5 is 2.236 and root 6 is 2.239 1.732 and root 2 is 1.414 so root 6 plus root 2 will give me 3.863 and root 3 plus root 5 will give me 3.968 I know this value is a higher value so only this statement is correct that means this is wrong this is wrong so answer is this <coughs> the straight question in which a1 upon a2 should be equal to b1 upon b2 should not be equal to c1 upon c2 putting the values 2 upon 6 is equals to minus k upon minus 12 is equal to 7 by 15 is not equal to 7 by 15 i can clearly see that <coughs> 1 by 3 is equals to k by 12 k is equal to 4 the perimeter of one face of a cube is 4a which is equal to 20 which gives the side as 5 volume as a cube which is 125 the mark price of a watch is 720 a man bought it at a at it 550.80 after getting two successes is found the first being 10% so 720 minus 10 percent gives 720 minus 72 which is 648 or similar to 650 final price is 550 i know that the discount is approximately second discount is approximately 100 on approximately 650 rupees so percentage would be 100 upon 650 into 100 I know <coughs> 100 upon 600 greater than 100 upon 650 is greater than 100 upon 700. This value is 16.6 percent greater than desired value <coughs> greater than 14.2 percent. Answer has to be between 14 and 16 only option is 15 percent.
this question can be easily done by putting the options among the four options i see that among the four options i see that option c is the easiest to put besides that if you look at the equations there are three terms and the sum is three so each term should be equal to one so when i put option three here a square will get cancelled by a square and b square plus c square will remain this will give me one similarly this will also give me one this will also give me one my answer will become option c <coughs> in a parallelogram we know that the sum of adjacent angles is 180 degree this is pqrs a parallelogram angle p is four times of the q so if this is x this has to be 4x and if this is x this has to be 4x so angle p is equal to angle r i know that 4x plus x is equal to 180 degree this gives me x equal to 36 degree and 4x equal to 144 degree answer is 144 degree in this case we do not have any option other than to put the exact value i know cos 45 is 1 by root 2 square would be 1 by 2 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 which will give me 3 by 4 plus cos 60 is 1 by 2 which will give me 1 by 4 this will give me 1 by 2 minus 1030 is 1 by root 3 this will give me 1 by 3 this will give me 1 Minus one by four divided by three. Solving this further, I'll get this two is cancelled by this four two. So this gives me two by three plus one by two minus one by three minus one by twelve. The LCM will be twelve. So this is eight. This is six. This is four. This is minus one. It plus three by four. <coughs> We have to find out the length of the portion which cuts the intercept. To find out that, we need to find the intersection point of this line with the two axes. For that case one, put x equal to zero. We get y equal to three. Case two, put y equal to zero. We get x equal to four. So the coordinates are zero comma three and four comma zero. Using the distance formula, zero minus four square plus three minus zero square whole under root gives me five. In this case, we have to use a standard formula that is x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Minus three x y z is equals to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. Right. So let this be x plus y plus z. Multiplying this entire thing by two, so this gives two x square plus two y square plus two z square minus two x y. <coughs> Minus two y z minus two z x gives one by two x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus <coughs> z minus x whole square. X plus y plus z is one thousand. This is one by two. X minus y is one. <coughs> y minus z is two. Two square is four. Z minus x is three. Three square is nine. So this is thousand into half into fourteen is seven thousand. This is again a straight question. Ten meter long ladder against a wall, making an angle of thirty degree. This is ten. <coughs> I know. I have. If this is my angle, this is perpendicular. This is hypotenuse. This is base. I have to find out base. I, the hypotenuse. I can say cos thirty to base upon ten. Base is equals to ten into cos thirty, which is root three by two, or which is five root three. Or I can say five into one point seven, which is eight point six six. 
732 to be very specific 10% discount and then 20% discount succession is equivalent to total discount of 100 minus 10% is 90 90 minus 20% is equal to 72 so it is equivalent to 28% discount in this case we have to simply put the values minus 4 cube minus 3 into minus 4 square plus 3 into minus 4 plus 3 into minus 2 <coughs> plus 3 into minus 2 square plus minus 2 cube this gives me minus 64 this gives me minus 48 minus 12 minus 6 plus 12 minus 8 this this gets cancelled out total is minus 126 <coughs> walking at the rate of 4 km per hour a man covers certain distance in 2 or 45 minutes so distance is equal to so distance is equal to speed into time distance is equal to 4 into 11 by 4 which is 11 km if he walks at a speed of 16.5 then the distance time would be time is equals to distance upon the speed then 11 upon 16.5 which is 2 by 3 r or 40 minutes this is the simplest question always asked in 104 degree 1043 degree 1047 is equal to cot 43 degree and 1086 is cot 4 degree this value will get 1 and this multiplied by this will get 1. So answer is 1 into 1 that is 1. Thank you everyone.